Matt Kirschbaum and Sue Eiler have a summer ritual. Every other week, we come down and we set up our spotting scope. We get out our data sheets. And a hand clicker. I call it a tally whacker. And the citizen scientists count the herons of Padilla Bay. You're seeing sometimes in the neighborhood of five, 600 birds. It's extraordinarily difficult uh, to count in your minds. What was your, your total count on that one? 210. 210? Okay. This estuary in northwest Washington is home to thousands of birds, including the largest breeding colonies of great blue herons in the Pacific Northwest. Counts like these serve as an annual checkup. We watch all the species that are here and kind of used to who's who. Matt and I are coming to uh, do our survey. He throws on the brakes. He goes, there they are. And there's 11 pelicans just, I mean, they were like next to here. And it's like seeing aliens arrive. I mean, they aren't here. The American white pelican's range stretches across much of the country, but it doesn't touch western Washington. It's, it's unprecedented for them to be here. So something really unusual was happening. Of course, we're just, you know, we're having a blast. OK, I found the pelicans. Did you? They're right by the boat. Aha. Uh -huh. Really tough. They're low. Wow, OK. White pelicans are conspicuous birds with their nine-foot wingspans and long orange bills. They're just bizarre, I mean, in a neat way. <laughs> They're different from brown pelicans, a more common summer visitor to coastal Washington. Those are the ones that dive for fish. White pelicans take a team approach to feeding. Oh, yeah, they're doing the synchronized swimming, the ballet. Yes, they are. Oh, that's cool. At first, they counted just a handful of pelicans. Then we had like 30, and then there were 50. I mean, finally, it was up to 100. And then reports started coming from all we're over getting, the region. Uh, we've got reports that came from Barkley Sound, Canada, uh, one at Lummi. From the Olympic Peninsula, across Puget Sound, and north into British Columbia. During the summer, the region's white pelicans normally stick close to a few major breeding areas farther south and east. But with parts of Oregon and California enduring another year of severe drought, some of their best protected breeding grounds have gone dry. Malheur National Wildlife Refuge has reported failed breeding colonies for two years. So the pelicans in Puget Sound could be pioneers searching for a suitable site for a new colony. One place they seem fond of is a small lagoon on Whitby Island. Well, I counted 135. 135? And I'm yeah. Well, this is a first for them to be here. Joe Sheldon has never seen pelicans in almost 20 summers living here. Seeing white pelicans in western Washington is unusual. Seeing 180 white pelicans in western Washington is unheard of. Sheldon is a retired professor of ecology. He says the pressures of climate change could be at play. You might describe these as a climate refugee if indeed Malheur has dried to the point where they can no longer feed and breed there. Pelican colonies across the country have indeed been shifting north by about 200 miles over the last 50 years. But it's too soon to say if these pelicans are just Puget Sound tourists or new summer residents. So will they come back? We'll wait and see for next year.